Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these little kind of match boxes. I have done something similar for a chocolate bar size and I'll link that one up here because that's really nice and it has a, it was for Father's Day actually, uh, but this one here is a smaller version and you pull this out and then <laughs> the spider pops up. It's on a piece of acetate there. It's really, really fun. And then inside here, you've got room to pop some treats, which I will do. And these are just a few more extras just to go in the trick or treat kind of bowl ready for when the trick or treaters come to the door. So I've done four here. I'm going to do the fifth one again. You can see another one there. I've just done the spider on all of them. And again, it's got that nice spring and it's just a little bit of fun. And uh, yeah, something easy to make. And you can do this obviously for any occasion, as you can see on that one there, if you pop and have a look, that's for Father's Day. You can do this for Christmas. You can have all sorts for them. It's just the idea there for you to then be able to change. So I'm using the few bits left really from the Sassy Crafting. I have done my planner in my diary. So I may add that in next week, just as a kind of short little video, but I done the mini album as well using this paper. I've got some of the free little trim craft downloads there as well. But it's this here, so this is the sticker pad which I've used in my planner. I've used the spider. I really do like that. I hate spiders by the way, but I really do like this spider die. I just think it's got a really good look about it. Look, oh it looks quite real when I look in my monitor. And actually what I'm going to quickly do is just add in a photograph now. And that was the excess in my bin and I forgot it was there and I walked into my craft room and looked down and I did jump a little bit because I thought, oh my God. And then I quickly remembered that that was me that done that and actually it's just paper. But it looked so real and I showed my mum and she was like, oh my God. And I went, no, it's only paper. So yeah, I think it's a great one for, uh, for <laughs> Halloween. So that's everything we need there. All of this will be linked below. To make one of the boxes, you need for the actual tray, the piece that we pull out, you want a piece that's five and a quarter by six. And then for the case that wraps around, you want a piece that's six and a half by three and one eighth of an inch. Then I've got my topper there, so that one's already done. And then I've got this acetate here. Um, so just a strong piece of acetate will do. It's just a piece of scrap. So first of all, with this one here, Okay, so with this piece, you're gonna score on all four sides at three quarters of an inch and one and a half inches. So rotate three quarters of an inch and one and a half again. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do there because it's a reinforced tray, so that's what you should have. Now for this piece here, because it needs to wrap around, what you wanna do is pop it in here along the long side and pull it out slightly. Okay, so if I just bring this up, so I always do this. If you've got a piece of cardstock, you can fold some cardstock in half, put it up against there and then put the cardstock in. That's another way to do it. But there it is right up in the corner and then I'm just pulling it out a little bit there so I can see the gray scoreboard. Don't pull it right up to the one eighth of an inch notch. You want it just, I've got that little bit there, it's like halfway, okay? So just pull it out slightly and then score at two and three eighths of an inch and five and a half. Okay, and then push it back in again and score at three and one eighths of an inch and six and a quarter. Okay, and just by doing that, we've just given it that tiny one sixteenth of an inch extra so that it can wrap around this tray here. That's that bit done. I've also got a piece of ribbon here for the little pull tab and this is two and a half inches. So I'll probably end up trimming a little bit more of that away as well. So the case is very, very straightforward. So you just wanna fold and burnish those score lines. Okay, and then with this one here, again, just fold and burnish all of those score lines. Okay, and we're gonna put this together just as you would any other reinforced. So, you know, like we would do a reinforced lid, it'd be exactly the same. So you wanna cut, I'm just cutting along the short side here, and you're gonna cut up both of these score lines, okay, to the second score line. So you've got four squares, you can see there, there's the four squares. I'm just cutting past them all to this second score line here. The outer two, you just wanna remove completely. And then that top square, just remove that. So you're left with that one there. And then just tidy off all of the edges. So that one, that one, and that one there. Okay, I'm gonna do the same again, just show you again. So cut down that one and that one. Remove the outer two and that top one. And again, just tidy up the edges. Okay, just lie it down there. 
that's what you should have at one end and then you're just going to flip it right the way around now so you've got the other short side and just do the same. Okay so that's everything cut now on this little tab here I've just popped some glue you're going to fold it under and bring up that side and we're going to do this on all four corners so I'm just going to give that a second to grab and then you're going to go to the next one and again just pop a little layer of glue pop it under and around again to form a really nice right angle just repeat that on the other end here Okay, and then I've just started to put glue on all four, but you actually only want to put glue on three. Leave one of the shorter sides without, so I'm just going to let that dry, it won't be a problem, but you want to fold the rest of them in. That end one there, we need to punch a hole through first before we stick it down, and then we can thread the ribbon through. So I'm just going to go around there, stick those down, and then you'll just get a really nice little tray, but leave one of them up like that. So I'm just going to let that glue completely dry. You can rub the collar off as well, so it's, um, yeah, like I said, it's a great glue. I really love this stuff. Okay, while I've got that drying, I'm just going to stick this one down. So along that little tab there, just add some glue or some double-sided tapes, entirely up to you. And then if you just fold that side over and then fold that half over, it will all line up perfectly. And again, just let that stick. Okay, and then just burnish all of the sides just to make sure it all sits how it should and then I know I've still got that end up there but you should be able to slide it in the other end and it should slide on really nicely and it'd be a nice snug fit there on the end okay so now with this one because that's nice and dry I'm going to just grab my hole punch and you want to fold that in and you want to hole punch in the middle of this side piece so you can see where I've put my little hole punch there and then just punch through it's a little bit tacky, there we go. Okay, so now I've got that hole going right the way through. Next, what I'm gonna do is, okay, I don't know what I was thinking, but I've just hole punched through both of them and you don't want to do that really because it makes, there's no, otherwise it's pointless doing it. You wanna open it up and you just wanna hole punch through that side so that this solid piece can then cover your ribbon ends. So you can see that I've punched through both, but with your screw punch there, you can go in and you can just hole punch right in the center there really easily so you only want a hole punch on that one there it's not going to make any difference to this tray that I've gone through both but it's it does defeat the object because the whole point is now is that this will thread through so just fold it in half so you've made a little pull tab but the idea is is then that we can split this apart inside like so and then this piece without the hole We'll then go over and hide it all, but now you see mine's going to poke out, so I'm going to have to just cut another bit of cardstock to go on that. I don't know why on earth I've done that, because I've been using this for all of them, but then I have been using that for another project, so I think I've just completely lost my mind. So I'm just going to get my hot glue on, because it did work really well with this. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a little bit there and a little bit on the back. Just push that down that side push that down. As you can see my ribbon split apart there and then <laughs> like I said you won't have a hole in that piece so now you'll just add your glue to this side here and then stick that in. Now you can see we've got a nice little pull tab and then inside yours will be obviously all cardstock and it won't have that hole but you can see how it's just a nice way to conceal that ribbon. That's if you choose to do that. You might just pop a brad on the end, it's entirely up to you. And then you just pop it in its tray. Then you just need to add your spider or whatever it is that you're going to have pop up. So what you want to do is this acetate here is half an inch by... Well, the length, let me just pop it in because I couldn't remember because I ended up cutting it down. But basically, you want to score at half an inch. It will be no more than four inches long. Okay, so actually, I'm just going to trim that now because, yeah. So I've got it at a four at the moment. And then on that half inch score line, you just want to fold it under. Okay, and then we're just going to add some red tape to that little tab. Okay, so just taking the backing off and then you're going to pop it in here with the, so it's folded, can you see if I pop that against, there we go. So I've got it like that and it's sticky underneath here. 
So you're going to pop this flat side here against where the, the ribbon kind of is, but you want it to be right in the middle. So you can see there where I've stuck that in. Okay, that's what you want. Just make sure that's all stuck down. And then, yeah, it's still too long. So the spider, or whatever it is, you want to pop it on the acetate, but you want to push it down before you stick it down and make sure it's going to fit within your little tray. So you can see there where that's going to go. Now, I've already popped some tape on the back of my spider. Okay, so again, I can kind of just hover it over. I can see where he needs to be. So about there. There we go. And then I'm just going to go in now and cut underneath and get rid of that acetate. So it now probably ends up being, let me. T but this is if you're using the same thing as me. So like I said, everybody's is going to be different, but it will be two and three quarters my pieces. That's taken into account that, that piece there as well. But now that will go in and, you know, you can test it obviously, pop it in there. Because it reminds me of those bugs. Do you remember the wobbly bugs? I think you can still get them that were in the shells and you'd lift the shell up and then the bug would be wobbling inside. But now it's got a really good little spring to it. Then I've got this piece here, which is just slightly smaller than the tray size. So it's just under three and just under two and a quarter. So just check that was right. Yes, yeah, it literally is like that one sixteenth because I wanted it to cover the bottom complete. So and it's just under two and a quarter. So I'm just going to add glue to the back of that piece, and then that's just going to go in there. Again, ready for the treats. Pop that all on there. Pop him back in there, and then I've got this piece here. I'll give you the dimensions in a second. Make sure that's all stuck down. So the white piece here is two and one eighth by just under three. Two and seven eighths would be fine. And then the black piece is one and seven eighths of an inch by two and five eighths of an inch. Okay, and then just pop that in there. And there you have your little treat boxes. So there they are, I really like them. I think this is my favorite, I do. I just really like the red lips there and the fangs and the bit of blood coming down. And then you open it up. Ooh, you got a bit of a fright with the spider there and then the same papers inside. So I'm gonna, like I said, pop some nice little treats in there and uh, yeah, add them to the, the basket of uh, the other goodies that I've shared with you. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen any of the other little kind of, I guess, trick or treat or Halloween favors or favours for any occasion all you've got to do is change your paper but that playlist will be up there so you can check that out but yeah I hope it's inspired you I hope you give it a go and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial thanks for watching bye